Good afternoon, Cross Timbers, and happy Election Day. Today is Tuesday, November 3rd, 2020, and I am Maddie Reed. Tarleton Professor publishes book, Election Day News, and more all coming up next on Texan TV. In campus news, Dr. Paul Banda, a professor at Tarleton, has recently published a book called The State, Counterinsurgency, and Political Policing in Colonial and Post-Colonial Colonial, Malawi, 1891-1994, which examines the history of the African na nation. In his book, Banda um, analyzes the rise of insurgencies in Malawi and includes the concept of counterinsurgency to address how the state reacted to anyone who questioned it. Banda is an assistant professor of world history at Tarleton State and has received glowing reviews from his fellow educators across the United States. For local news, we turn to Cody Vinoy. It's election day in Erath County and we are encouraging you to go vote. We are here at Graham Street and it is one of 10 locations in Erath County for Erath County residents to go vote in. From 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., Erath County residents may be able to come vote. If you want to find more voting locations, Go to www.eraf.co.tx.us for more voting locations. I'm Cody Vinoy. This is Texas News. And now today's Texas national and international news from the Associated Press. A U.S. District Court judge has thrown out a lawsuit that challenged the legality of the 127,000 votes that were cast in a drive through voting site in the Houston area. This ruling came Monday as Judge Andrew Hannon ruled that the plaintiffs have no legal standing to sue. Harris County had set up these 10 drive through voting sites to expedite the early voting process in a safe manner due to pandemic concerns. This case was brought to the judge's attention after Republican activists made claims that drive through voting was an illegal extension of curbside voting, which is permitted in Texas. In national news, the road to the 270 electoral college votes ends today. Nearly 100 million Americans voted early, and now it is up to the election day voters to finish the job. After attending two rallies, one in Philadelphia and the other in Pittsburgh, Biden has predicted a victory in Pennsylvania. The Democratic nominee is running under his agenda to expand health care, address income inequality, and racial injustice. While Trump, on the other hand, visited five rallies from North Carolina to Wisconsin, with his last stop being in Grand Rapids, Michigan. At the rally, he told his supporters, we made history four years ago, and tomorrow we're going to make history once again. According to officials, Trump plans to spend election night at the White House. In international news, last night in Vienna, Austria, an alleged terrorist attack left 15 wounded and two dead, including one of the assailants. The gunmen began relentlessly shooting people who were enjoying their last night out before the coronavirus lockdown was put into place. The attack started shortly after 8 p.m. in six different locations. According to some unverified footage on social media, the gunmen were targeting people on the street at random. The interior minister encourages people to stay indoors, avoid the city center, and keep their children home from school today until the gunmen are found. The motive for the attack is still under investigation. In sports, for the first time in the organization's history, the NCAA has given all collegiate athletes the day off in order to go vote this election day. The decision was approved back in December. However, a few college football coaches around the country have not been thrilled about the decision. Dabo Swinney of nationally ranked number one Clemson said how he did not understand the decision. While Brian Kelly of number four Notre Dame came out and said it is a less than ideal situation. Both schools will face each other this Saturday as it will be the game of the weekend in the middle of the biggest day of the year. And now for the weather, we turn to Kaylee Dow. Hey Texans, it is a beautiful day today with a high of 78 degrees and a low of 46 tonight. Throughout the day, you may experience 10 mile per hour winds and tomorrow can expect more sunny skies with a high of 77. This has been a production of Texan TV News, a product of the Texan News Service from the Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas. Watch us live on Apogee Channel 2.1 in the dorms at 1230 weekdays. If you live off campus, tune in on Northland Cable Channel 9. 
You can follow the Texan News Service on Facebook and Twitter and check out our website at www.texannews.net for all of your latest local, state, national, and international news. Today's broadcast was produced by Maddie Reed, Cody Vinoy, Nicholas Radcliffe, and Kendall Harbison. Have a wonderful day, Texans.